I play video games because I love them. I mean, I play them because they let me do things I could never do in real life, and sometimes they let me do things I do do in real life. Uh, and I just said do-do. <laughs> it's a shared experience that you can experience individually. The, the entire experience is what you give to it and what you make of it, but it's the same game that you're playing with everyone else. And why I write about video games is to share the stories of the people who create those experiences and what is going on in their head. I like that video games are a feedback loop. It's the closest thing we have to translating my thoughts into action uh, other than me going and punching some guy in the face. They're constantly presenting me with something new and exciting that I wasn't expecting. I like social aspects. I play a lot of Warcraft. You get to have a kind of tell a new narrative every time depending on how the game goes. One of the reasons that we play games is, uh, is a second or third home to us. That's why we go back there and we play the games that we like and also find, play new games to find a new space for ourselves. I went to school for film and it took me a long time to realize that I thought video games were actually the future of, you know, of, of visual entertainment. And video games are something I always played and it's something that I became increasingly passionate about. They're the most elaborate and intricate form of art that we have. I'm super into books right now, but that's it. They're like video games that you can't interact with. I mean, I just like the whole thrill of it, competing against people different, you know, all over the world and stuff like that, so, you know, it's pretty balling. I think it's, it's that they're kind of the future of all this cool stuff, like art, technology, like innovation, all these words that you don't really want to say because they sound pretentious. I just uh, like geek out over my strategy board game problem. In 50 Cent Blood on the Sand, I went over a ramp, and when I went over the ramp, the ramp exploded. Video games. You think that's gonna happen on Mad Men? Sorry, Dad. No dice. Video games. They really invite us to play. And I think play is such a fundamental part of being human. I feel like I get to watch them grow up alongside me, and I don't think a lot of generations of people can say that about any medium. You have kind of the nerds like me who uh, play everything, but then you have like the Peggle Moms, the Madden Jocks, the FIFA Jocks. Everyone has a place in it now. What I love about video games is online passes. Day one DLC. Now I'll do this one turning around. You ready? Nine-year-old racist. We've been hiring a lot of different people with a lot of different experience from different parts of the industry. Somebody said it was like Voltron. Maybe it's like A-Team. But we're trying to use all this different knowledge and insight to kind of inform what we're doing. And, and those many angles have really helped us create the site and the brand that we want to share with you today, which is Polygon.com, the website. Video games. Video games. Video games. Books. Video games. It's the only place the ramps are going to explode for the pure reason that you're at 50 cent, basically. You're 50 cent, basically. Basically.